GVN gang, welcome back, welcome back. That's with a V on an A. And today, I'm not sure what I'm going to make again. I'm just going to make something from scratch. My new loop kit is coming out soon. It's called Moonlight. There's a couple of little trailers and hints. And To be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. But there's some... There's some decent, there's some decent ones in there. There's some decent ones in there. I'm a bit of a dud, but... I think there's, there's some decent ones. Yeah, go check that out as well. It's going to be releasing Wednesday. If you don't follow my Instagram, follow it up. It's in like the top corner or some shit. Follow that. Um, I post it all there. Um, and you can share it on your story. And just, yeah, I'll select a couple of people to give it away. Two subscribers. Just go to my Instagram, follow my Instagram, and post the, uh, post the thing. And uh, you'll probably win. So, yeah, I think that'll probably be $15. So, up to you. You can either post it or you can pay for it. I mean... Either or, it doesn't really matter. So, um, yeah, I'm going to make a little bit of an oozy track from scratch today. I'm not too sure where I'm going to go with it, but we'll give it a bit of a go. It's quite, I feel like it should be a, sort of like a plucky a plucky type sound because little oozy's eternal would take was sort of like all that type of shit. So all the all the really plucky sounds and um, just a spacey, spacey vibe. that on get off um. okay, that's good okay Okay, now I've got that little pluck out of the way. Um, let's just try and play with some sounds that I've got here. Yeah. And I've noticed that the if you type in AT, there's a lot of good sounds here. Sounds. And I feel like you need to go for that. It needs to feel like very, very EDM. I like that a lot. We've got to do now. See if we can get something going. That's nah, right. I've got that. I just realized I haven't changed the BPM at all, to be honest with you. Um, that sounds a lot better. Now, let's add... kind of need some... some bell or some pluck. I feel like it's missing something in the... Oh, that sound. I keep doing it. Sorry, guys. It's two videos in a row now that I've done the exact same thing. Um, we'll go over. I'm a very big fan of personal presets, to be honest with you. I, I know a lot of people aren't the biggest fans of using other people's presets and shit like that, but they normally use what's in the actual pre the VST itself, or they make their own. For the time being, if you're just like me and you want to make music for fun and see what you can do, then I feel like it's not really that important at, at this point in time. Yes, obviously, as time progresses, you'll need to learn more about music theory and like, I don't know, just learning how to make sounds in general. So yeah. Find a better preset though. And that will do the melody. Um, 
Obviously the first is just a just a simple EDM type plug. And basic chords going up and down. We can we can change the variation. I actually don't mind changing the middle note up. Gives a bit of variation. So that's that's a basic basic progression. It's not really anything too drastic. Uh, this is just a couple of plucks as a top line. In terms of actually making a hit, if you're a good enough producer and you're a good enough artist, you, you know how to collaborate, you know how to do things, so yeah. Um, but anyway, so that's the little top line and there's just the middle part as well, just a little pluck. So that's that's pretty much the whole melody. And I need to cut some of the, cut some of the highs out of this, I think. We'll just lower these a little bit. I actually don't mind this because it just takes the eeriness out of some of the highs because I feel like sometimes it can be really painful to listen to. I reckon this should be shorter. Yeah, that's good. That's perfect. So that's the chords. Um, so let's produce drum kits. Let's go. Let's go some Rio action again. Basic hi hat. I'll, I don't really always alter. I always alter my hi hats, no matter what the beat. It doesn't really matter for me. Like I know a lot of people for placements and stuff like that, they just keep two step. For me personally, I, I don't stick with the basics, and I know a lot of producers don't. But there are some that just stick to them profusely, and they don't go off of them. They just focus more so on the melodies. But I like to focus on both. Let's just add a little snare roll, I don't know, just, just something different. Just... just something a little different, I don't know. You need... You need something different in there. Now we got that out of the way. Um, let's just add a couple of different things like hi hats and whatnot. Um, and then you basically just follow them. Oh, obviously not. Obviously not with the kick, Gavin. Um, yeah, but. So basically that's what our 808 pattern is going to be. I normally stick with um, kicks and 808s sitting in the same in the same columns and the same sounds. So it hits hits different. So it... I normally have my 808s and kicks hitting at the same time just simply because I don't really like how one without the other sounds. To be honest, it sounds a bit messy in my opinion. Um, so just say you have a kick just before the 808. It just sounds quieter and yeah, okay, it might add some variation, but I'm more of a fan of just it thumping, to be honest with you. Um, it's fun. Let's see if this works with it. Uh... Okay, and I'll put this on here. I think I did that, yeah. And then 
just copy it over. It's, it's a lot easier. I feel like it's a lot easier. People people try and complicate things way too much, man. Just just make it simple for yourself. Don't don't need to overcomplicate it. It's music. At the end of the day, you need to you need to focus and and make sure that the artist has enough room for the sound. To be honest with you. Shout out KBZ, he's killing the game right now. Um, and this bullet 808 is actually so fire. I can't actually have used it in a lot of beats since getting this kit, to be honest with you. Um, and Tex as well. I think that was his recommendations. So now let's just fix up the, the hi-hats because I feel like they're a bit dull at the moment. Here. If you want to pan, this isn't panning, it's more velocity, but if you want it to sort of fade in, just right click on the, the note that you want in the velocity and then just drag it downwards, upwards, or whichever way you want it to go. So this one probably doesn't need to be so low. And we want to complement the, the snare, so we don't want to over flood it here. So just say, for example, I just did some dumb shit like this. It would just sound too messy, in my opinion. I just I like very clean mixes, very very clean mixes. Um, this might not sound clean, but yeah, I like clean mixes. Here. I like to add some variation at the top as well. Sometimes it just adds a little sauce. Secret sauce. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, what is going on? I don't know what I'm doing. Not that high. create and that's what I mean like I keep saying it but you don't want to flood it too much with sounds because if you do it's just too hard to hear and I'm going to add another sound right now just something subtle sometimes I do layer my um, my claps with snares or which I have a little bit here so I think yeah like here there's a couple there um, but I like to actually layer snaps as well snaps are like one of my favorite sounds to use to be honest with you I, I really really enjoy them over claps and snares it just adds a little and then you can just let's just turn it down a bit. can pan it to the, to the left so it's, it catches them off guard a little bit and don't pan it all the way as well if you pan it 100% you won't be able to hear shit so um, yeah just make sure that if you're panning something just have it slight either way don't have it like this because you won't yeah you won't be able to hear it uh, and we'll probably just add a per That's pretty cool. And I notice in Uzi's beats, there's a lot of perks and shit like that. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to make the whole beat full. And 
shakers. Shakers are a piece. basically it um, we'll do a bit of arranging now so I don't do much leveling honestly I really don't as you can see there's a couple of notes changed here but in terms of what I'm actually doing there's not really that much of a, um, of a change so what I did there is I just selected all and clicked channel routing uh, route selected channel started from this track and then it just puts them all into the, the track so I just make sure that my, my hats are sort of within 12 to 15 decibels. Um, I feel like that's a sweet spot for me, um, personally. And snares around 6 to 9, so that's okay. Clap is the same, around 6 to 9. Cli uh, snap, sorry, are like a bit lower, so I'll probably like 12 to 15. And then this will go down a little bit more. I don't really like my hi hats. I mean, my open hats sticking out. So um, I normally have it down about thirty decibels, to be honest. Um, shakers can also be changed. Coin toss. I mean, I don't even know what the f why I put that in there, but it just has a little cool. I don't. Know, just a little bit of variation. You can't have the same shit over and over. But yeah, it's, it's, that's way too loud because that will be overpowering to the um the whole mix. So I'll do a little bit of arranging. Um, but you, you get the gist of it. Basically, it's just, I don't know, arranging, I, I think I said the last video, but arranging in itself is just, yeah, something I'm still learning. I, I'm still a bit of a pleb at it, so um, excuse me if you are offended by anything that I'm about to do. So normally what I do is I just get rid of all this shit, and then on the first, on the first verse of the chorus, on the first verse of the chorus, okay, on the first um, bars of the chorus, first of all bars, I sort of just, keep it as very minimal um, and then sort of segregate it and then make it all hit at the same time and then throughout the throughout the verse just get rid of all this and shit like that and then sometimes add some variation to the to the 808 so uh, we can just make that unique edit pattern and then so we can just get rid of a couple of these notes so it's sort of the sort of a different different feel to the whole beat that's pretty much it for the beat so I'm not gonna do much um, more arranging so I'll just copy it over a couple of times and that will be the whole thing do some automation so you know my automation love my automation love the uh love the fade out at the end i don't know why but we always do it just just for effect and feel add the tag in there as well um last time i said that i was using just the laugh well guess what uh i've changed up i'm not just using the laugh i'm also using my own tag so um uh, well, let's just line that up See what it sounds like. Go ahead. Nah, so. Go ahead, Juliet. Tell me if it's. Uh, the tag's Loki Fire. The tag's Loki Fire, to be fair. I actually don't mind it at all. That is my Uzi beat. Um, let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you thought of the beat. I'll put the beat at the end of the, the video just to see uh, a full... Uh, fuck you. So that's pretty much it for the beat. Um, I'll put the beat at the end of the video just to show you guys what the end result sounds like. Obviously, I haven't really leveled anything. I'm going to level something really quick now. Um, so, yeah. Um, like, comment, subscribe, tell me why I'm shit, because I'm shit and you guys aren't happy. Two subscribers, yeah, boy. Um, let's get to three. Let's get to three. Um, let's get to 30. Um, I appreciate all the support. Nonetheless, obviously, it's only two subscribers. I keep saying I appreciate all the support, but I appreciate all the views that you guys are giving me on this channel anyway. Um, the other one has like 20 views, so it's okay. But we'll get a few more views on this one. Get me 100 views, 50,000 likes, 40,000 comments, 50 million subscribers. I'm your boy PewDiePie. Without further ado, guys, I'm out of here because I have to be going now. So peace out to the V, to the G, to the A, to the B.
<laughs> Go ahead, Julianne. 